university recognises individuals who have contributed to society and their professions. We do this through giving honorary degrees. Today, we will recognise one of these outstanding individuals. Vice-Chancellor, it was unanimously resolved by the Senate and the Council of the University to confer an honorary degree upon Carl Allen Bates. John Hinchcliffe, Chair of Council, will present the candidate. Chancellor and distinguished guests. It's a true privilege uh, to speak this morning on behalf of the University's Council to welcome Carl Allen Bates as one of our honorary award recipients. If the University of Bradford has a friend, it is Carl. Carl has given his professional and personal life to ensuring great, open and transparent governance. Carl has been a civil servant for 40 years, working as an internal auditor for over 30 years. His world has been about assessing and managing risk and identifying and sharing good practice of governance. He has worked for the government internal audit agency and believes that efficient and effective governance is a key route to deliver value for the long suffering taxpayer. Professionally, he is a past director of the Chartered Institute of Internal Auditors. A couple of decades ago, uh, Carl identified that he wanted to extend his horizons, look for career development, and share and develop his skills. So 15 years ago, he became involved in the governance of this fine university. His governance roles at the university include working with the university council on a variety of committees, but inevitably, he will always be remembered for his work on and as chair of the Audit Committee. There we saw his quiet but confident, strong but detailed style at its absolute best. It was fitting that the commitment earned him the title Pro-Chancellor of the University. His commitment to the university is such that he would take holidays from his day job to attend meetings here at the university. Now, Carl lives in the city and is a real supporter and advocate of the area. I know he's looking forward to the activities of the City of Culture. So I'm pleased that Carl has picked up this award because amazingly for somebody of his intellect and stature, he is otherwise not a graduate. So it's a sign of his amazing commitment that somebody who has not benefited from a university education is such an evangelist for the benefits of higher education and the University of Bradford in particular. Universities change lives and Carl has played his part in improving the lives of many, many others. I open this speech by saying that Carl is a great friend of the university. In recent years, I've been lucky to think of Carl as a friend of mine too. Several years ago when I joined the University Council, I was always grateful for his quiet wisdom. So if there's ever proof that good guys win, then it is today. Carl's values and commitment to service prove that. Carl is a man of the ultimate integrity. He's one of Bradford's and the University of Bradford's unsung heroes. Vice-Chancellor, in recognition of his significant commitment and the impact he's made to the university, I have the greatest pleasure in presenting to you for the honorary degree of Doctor of the University, Carl Allen Bates. Authority vested in me, I admit you, Carl Allen Burtz, to Doctor of the University of Bradford. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for your very kind words of support, John. Uh, Vice Chancellor, uh, assembled guests, and last but not least, graduates of today. I'd like very much to thank the university for bestowing this very significant honour on me. 
Little did I think some 15 years ago when I came to sit as a co-opted member on the University's Audit Committee that I would be standing here on this very st stage receiving such an accolade. It's an accepted fact that today that universities change lives. Involvement with the University of Bradford certainly changed mine and I'm sure it has an even bigger effect on all of you graduates sitting here today. <clears throat> Today marks a very significant milestone in your lives, so take a moment to look around you and appreciate this achievement. You've worked hard, taken on board new skills and knowledge, faced challenges and overcome many obstacles to reach this point. Let's also not forget the parents, siblings, friends and relatives who have supported you throughout your time here. And of course the many staff who make up the academic and wider Team Bradford offer. Congratulations and well done. Your graduation today is not the end of a journey. It's the beginning of a whole new chapter in your lives, whether you have chosen academia, the world of business, professional practice, or other avenues to explore. You will encounter many possibilities and opportunities, but remember, it's how you navigate these experiences that will shape your future and you as a person. Here are a few thoughts to carry with you as you embark on this journey. Firstly, embrace change. The world is constantly evolving at a significant pace and the ability to adapt is crucial. So be bold in your approach, be open to new ideas and be willing to push the envelope in everything you do. Change can be daunting, but it is also the catalyst for growth and innovation. As recent graduates, people and organisations will be looking to you for ideas and solutions to their problems. Secondly, remember that every day presents a new opportunity to learn something new. So be curious, be open, be questioning and seek new knowledge from all aspects of your life and work. Ensure that you take on board and value the experiences and diversity of others. The more you do this, the better equipped you will be to face the challenges and complexities of the world. Thirdly, be resilient. There will be times when things don't go as planned and you will encounter setbacks. However, it's important to remember that these are not the end of the world. They are simply part of the journey. Learn from them, grow stronger and keep moving forward. Where you can, turn those challenges into opportunities. Fourthly, stay true to your values. In a world that is constantly trying to influence you, it is essential to remain grounded in your beliefs and principles. Integrity, respect and compassion are values that will guide you through the toughest of times and stand you in good stead with colleagues. As someone once said, integrity is doing the right thing when no one is watching. Lastly, look to give something back. As you achieve success, which you undoubtedly will, remember the people, communities and organisations that helped you along the way, whether through mentoring, volunteering or simply being available for advice. Putting something back enriches society and helps pave the way for those who follow on behind. As you leave here today, remember that you haven't just obtained a degree. To paraphrase one of our previous Vice-Chancellors, you've been equipped with a set of tools to solve problems that haven't yet been encountered in jobs that don't yet exist. You have the power to shape the future, to create positive change and to inspire. In short, the world needs you. So, fasten your seatbelts, embrace the journey and go make your mark on the world. Thank you.